George Ford, and here's a first sight of Elliot Daly, who's been impressing throughout this season. What a lovely start for the outside centre from Wasps. Side break wasn't it last week to provide the try for Rod Miller. Complete to Daly who steals an extra three or four meters. He's got turned over there, didn't he, Daly? What a shame that that really promising attack that was started by Daly with a blistering run just finishes with the same player being turned over, and that's a super clearance kick. the opening break Ali Elliot Daly so dangerous with that right hand fend and then look at that realizes he's close to the touchline just cuts inside and takes a really smart tackle from Francois Lowe to bring him down bright start to the game brilliantly claimed here from the uh, the restart by Elliot Daly uh, clean out of the sky on the charge and Wasps immediately have a chance to hit back here. This is Daly again from the restart. Daly carving through. Nobody will catch Elliot Daly. Striking off the counter attack. The drop ball in midfield. Wasps have made Bath pay. Outside the back, Elliot Daly just sitting in behind the t behind uh, Ben Jacobson and, and, and Frank the Tank. And if they do have go out the back, obviously those wheels to get around. Daly spreads a bit of whip on the ball. This is Cittadini. Daly again. It's apparently, and Daly looking to make the most of it, freeing up Launchbury. hard defensively still the ball finds its way for Daly and laser guided low trajectory fabulous kick Daly up nice and quick defensively all round package and it Daly it's good to see him sprinting off those kickoffs get through a ton of work Thank and you. actually being the player that makes the tackle, whether it's a forward or a back. With the clearance. The Vandage offside, 13 and 9. Again, it's Daly with the tackle, look how quick he is. Yes. Simpson just gets himself offside here, or down the short side. He recognised the danger that Bath were going to come back down the short side through Cook. And he just... Moved himself a little bit too far up in the line. You're right, Ali. I think Elliot Daly has been fantastic today in everything he's done. And it's not just the glamorous stuff of you know, ball in hand. He's been so industrious in defence, hunting down players, looking for tackles, looking for the impact. And it's interesting because that left foot as well can play into coach's hands. But Eddie Jones loved a bit of Matt Gitto playing in his sides because of that left foot, right foot option. So whether that is, is an extra card for Elliot Daly, we'll have to wait and see. If you're lining up opposite him tomorrow in a Six Nations International, would you rather be facing him or Joseph? Oh, oh. Ooh, that's a tough one. Prob probably prefer to play against Joseph. I just think there's a small bit more edge about Elliot Daly. I see a little bit more narkiness to him, and I'm always a bit fearful of those guys. This is Daly, and there is a drop goal. Just to say to Eddie Jones, you know what? I can do that as well. Well, it was a shot to nothing, but it was a very good shot to nothing. Just bar big force out of play from Dean. They're trying everything. George Ford goes to the, the crossfield kick. But on this occasion, I thought the Wasps back three handled that really, really well. They worked to the penalty advantage. Look at that. Won't be the prettiest or sweetest drop goal he hits, but it's still three points. Check and it adds to a very line. effective game. Well, he's putting together quite a case, isn't he? 50 metre penalty knocked over a week ago at the Rico. Okay. Drop goal, try assist last week. He's been very, very busy defensively today. 
Hard to pick too many holes in the Elliott Daly game at the moment. Here's the pool as it stands. Daly. 20 metre miss pass for Haskell. This is Daly trying to skip up towards the halfway. 